hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you that why you need to learn shell scripting today because it's absolutely amazing so i'm doing a digital marketing internship and in this internship i earn a lot of money they even extended my internship so usually people do internship for one month i am doing it for like four months now the thing is that i don't do anything in the job i just sit back relax watch some tv shows and all the work is done by my scripts and they don't even know so i'm literally exploiting them it's a great opportunity to learn things i learned a lot of shell scripting by just doing this internship and i even started this channel so enough of this and let me just show you an example so today my boss gave me this link so this is a google drive link and as you can see there are a bunch of garbage videos here but that's not the point what i have to do is i have to download these videos so by default if you download something from google it's going to provide the file in a zip format i don't know why but i think it's for achieving the content but the thing is that after downloading these videos i have to unzip the file and then i have to change the resolution of of all these videos so that's my job this is all what i have to do and after changing the resolution i have to again make a zip and then send it back to the you know my boss so now if you are someone who understand linux and know little bit about ffmpeg and for loop you guys know that how easy this work is i'm getting 275 dollar for doing this this is not the only work sometimes they give me some other type of work now the thing is that i am very lazy so even though you think that it's pretty simple and all you have to do is use ffmpeg and for loop let me show you some more cool stuff which can be useful for you so by default when you download something from google drive it's going to start zipping the file so as you can see google is zipping the file but you don't have to do it you can download any video from any drive or something from google by just using youtube dl it's possible and it's pretty simple and if you're thinking that why I want to download some files from Google Drive and even if I want to download why I bother using YouTube DL and not just zipping the file or downloading it the normal way. Well, if you go to this subreddit DL links, uh, this subreddit will provide you a lot of cool TV shows and the links will be in Google Drive. So at that time, you might want this trick because when you download some large amount of data from Google Drive, it's going to provide you the files in multiple zip files. So you're not going to get one giant zip file. You are going to get five giant zip files. So I downloaded seven GB amount of TV shows and it was giving seven different zip files, which was very annoying. So by learning the trick, which I am about to tell you, you can save your time and download everything pretty quickly also it will save more of your time because you are going to skip all those zipping which google do and that zipping takes a lot of time by the way let me just show you this is the whole episode so it's a good piracy going on here i remember my friend downloaded the whole anime one piece from one google drive link he was using that default zipping method and i told him that you can use youtube dl he's also a good linux user so he knew what youtube dl is and then he scripted out things and he saved a lot of time he was very happy all right so enough for the reason i just wanted to show you that piracy so you will get eager to what i'm about to tell you so what you have to do first is press Control a and here you can see 100 items selected so now i can just press right click to one file and go to this share and then here copy link so click on this copy link so links are copied and we are done here you don't have to see this screen again so now open the terminal and let me write this command x clip minus out minus selection or um, minus o not o i guess clipboard yeah so what this command will do whatever you have in your clipboard it's going to paste it on the terminal now i don't want to output all the links on my terminal so i'm going to redirect the output in through this url.txt so this is going to create a file url.txt which contain all the share links let me press enter and open the url.txt with vim and see what we got so these are all the links which is separated by comma and that's why it looks ugly so let me close this file and now let me get this url.txt and type the output in tr so what i'm about to do is just replace the comma with um not this 
new lines so it's going to replace all the commas with the new line so as you can see it's the pretty output now i can redirect this into urls.txt so now i don't want this url.txt because i have urls.txt so let me delete this and open urls.txt so these are all the share links which i want so now i can write a while loop to read all the lines so while read line to um let's just echo first i just want to see what i'm getting in the for loop it's a good practice do it so done and let's just put this file i mean give this file as input i don't know what to say for this it's just you know the contents of this uh, file uh, will get in this while loop and it will it's going to read the line so line by line these are all the lines so i'm getting the lines in my uh, loop and what I can do now is I can type YouTube TL and the line. Now, before this, I just want to do one more thing. Since I cannot change the file names, I will write this output. Now I want the same title. So I'm only going to write the title here. So percentage symbol title, close this and S. So you can read about this if you want man, YouTube TL. There are many things you can see these are for playlist or view counts i hope th this is the title and this is the extension so if you want extension you can read about this in the manual sorry for rtmf but uh, this video is just to show things and this is not a tutorial guys so if i press enter hopefully it's going to you know download everything so let's press enter oh wait 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 i don't want to download in my home directory this is the mistake i do every time so make directory garbage all right so i want to you know let's move this urls in garbage bits folder and let's go to garbage bits folder and run this command again so now it's going to download all the videos so you are saving some time it's if you download something directly from google drive it's going to make a zip and right now you are downloading straight without making any zip so this is a good way to download files so now as you can see the download is finished so these are all the files let me play one video and show you uh, i don't want to show this content on my channel but all right you guys can trust me and these are the same video which we were looking at the google drive all right enough so the thing is i can delete this urls.txt and i have all the videos now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a ffmpeg command because right now you can see if I do this media info on some file. So it's not installed. I don't have media info. Media info. Um, wait a second. It's going to get installed. It's a program to if in case if you want to see some information about some file. Like what resolution. Video. Video file related information. You can use media info. It's like um, new fetch for videos. So you can see here uh, the resolution is this is the width, this is the height, and I just want to change this. That's all I have to do. And I want to change this for every file. So I have to run this for loop. So for F for file in um, all the MP4s to here, I will run my FFmpeg command. But as I told you, first I will, you know, echo my output so I can see. So let's write done here, press enter. So these are all the files. And now instead of echoing the file names, I can run the ffmpeg command. So minus i for input, then the file name, then minus s for scale. And this is the resolution which I want. These are the instructions given to me by my supreme leaders. Next, I will write this minus c and a. I don't know what this do is. It's a kind of filter and then copy the output in my new file. So I'm going to write this fixed in front of the file name because, you know, I don't want to replace the files. Even I doubt ffmpeg can do this. So all right. So this is the command which I needed. So let me press enter and see. So it's going to do its thing and let me just pause the video. Okay, so the ffmpeg command is finished and as you can see, we have some fixed files here along with those old files. So what I can do now is I can use find command to type file, which means search every file and then i name, uh, i name uh, which is fixed and then asterisk. So if I press enter, it's going to just show me all the files which are fixed in the front. And now what I can do is 
here i can put this exclamation mark which means not so now it's going to show me everything which is which does not contain the fixed in the front all right after this i type this minus exec and then rm for deleting and then this symbol to just put the file name here and plus because you have to add this in the end i don't know why so if i press enter and then do ls so now i only have fixed files and not those old files after this i can easily use vim v so i can do some replace operation so i want to replace fix with nothing because i want to keep the file name same so press enter and then save the file so it's going to say that 97 files renamed and now if i do ls you can see that all of my files are renamed the way i want it um so that's it let's just run media info on one file to see what's the new resolution we got so as you can see the width and the height is changed and it is the same which we want so i think we are done now i can easily make a zip file so what's the date today 24 march dot zip garbage videos press enter so now after i created the zip i can easily use curl minus f to make a you know upload it on 0x0 st server so it's a good way to share any files it's going to give me a link now all right it's not giving me the link now because i accidentally forget to put this at the rate here so you have to put at the rate before the file name and this will upload the file to 0x0 which means the null pointer server and i will get a link and i can share this link to my you know boss and why i'm using 0x0 here is because if you notice i can script everything out so where i use vimv i can use a rename command and i can create a whole script and that's what i do so since the moment i got those share link in my clipboard i don't have to do anything i can simply run the script and i am done I don't even have to share this link by myself. I have this TG send script to share any message to anyone. So I send this link to my boss by using that script. Even that part is scripted out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.